going to quit, but had some inspiration from my boss man and my wife. We found a motor. I fixed the heads, welded it up. I had a backfiring issue. That backfired, screwed up my starter. <clears throat> so I drove to Clausen's in Independence, Louisiana, got all the parts I needed. I got to fix the flex plate because I broke a tooth on that. The head's back off of it because I had a valve train issue. So uh, my original plan was to leave for Cletus and Cars Houston tomorrow. Today's Thursday, the 30th. Tomorrow's October 1st. Saturday's the event. <clears throat> I was going to leave first thing in the morning, pick up my buddy in Louisiana, and hightail it to Houston. It is about 6.15 at night here, so we're about to pull an all-nighter. Let's get started, man. I got a lot to do. A lot. It's about two in the morning. It's loaded up, defueled, lubed up, all that stuff. We're ready to go. So from here, just gotta get the motor home and trailer ready. I'm pretty dang excited. Probably gonna leave tomorrow afternoon because we got something to go to tomorrow. Unfortunately, I tried to go early, but that ain't gonna work. So yeah, we're gonna make it. All right, everybody. I got a fresh haircut, clean shave. The motorhome is all loaded up. I wash it down. I got a few loose ends to tie up, and then we're gonna hit the road, pick up my best friend, and then we're gonna head on to Houston. All right, we're making good progress. We're about to enter into uh, a meat city, Louisiana, to pick up my best good friend, Isaiah. We're gonna bring him along with us, have some fun. Taking a quick pick stop. Finally got my buddy Isaiah. We're getting some of that beef, boy. Now you can barely see that. Take a little break, going pee pee. This one's seriously big rig though. Man, it's a pain to drive, but we're gonna be comfortable. Yeah. All right, everyone, me and my best good friend Isaiah made it. Hey, alive alive. We're out here in the track. We're squared up, parked in our spot. Can't see it, but the burnout pad's right there. We're gonna shut this thing down, get settled, take a nap, and get ready for the festivities tomorrow. All right, we're all unloaded, hanging out, getting this thing ready, just got it leaked down, and uh, some of the fuel hoses put on there, spun it over, make sure everything was good. About to crank it up.
So these Cletus and Cars events are getting bigger and bigger. I am number 25, second to last. There is 26 people out here competing, man. I remember when it was like 15. So it's about to be a crazy night. I'm very grateful that I got second to last, so I got time to keep it warm, change some stuff out, make sure it's running good. And then we're gonna get in line, do a burnout, see how it goes. <laughs> you ready, man? Man, this thing freaking rips. 2,200 pounds with him in it. Methanol. It's ready to go, man. All right, we got the car back over to the trailer. I put a fatter jet in it. Just give me a more peace of mind. It was running a little warm when I got over here, but I did have the block heater on it. I'd rather play it safe than, than lean out and destroy the motor, but... At the same time, don't want to go too rich and set the thing on fire. So but I'm going to suit up and uh, get in line. Again, I'm 25, so I'm in the back. So let's see how this goes, man. How do you feel about it? I feel alive oh, <laughs> about this. I feel good. Yeah. I feel very good about this. Yeah. I'm happy for it. So we did some troubleshooting. These two hoses were leaking, but let's let's be real. I put this thing together at two in the morning. I didn't tighten them like an idiot. They leaked. That methanol went down the blower and went down into my distributor. And what makes matters worse is on the distributor, the spark plug wires are so close to the blower housing that it was arcing and uh, it caught fire. So I'm gonna put the crab shell back on that so it's set down and it's not gonna arc anymore. Uh, and honestly, <laughs> and honestly, when I drove it earlier, the stage over there uh, with the other vehicles in front of uh, the toter home, it was popping while I was idling and if you look back at the, the burnout footage, the fireball came out of the driver's side, and that spark plug wire that was arcing is, it goes on the driver's side. So that explains a small miss. I could have fixed the fuel leaks, gone back out there, made a fun run just to put on a show. I told Garrett that I would, but I don't want to risk it. So that's it. Well, 
after a partially unsuccessful night, we have it all lubed up, the fuel emptied, and the valve covers off so it can breathe. And we're ready to go home. Take me home. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for this video. So that's gonna. <laughs> man, oh, thanks for driving it, man. That's gonna do it for this video. I appreciate y'all watching. You know, I don't look at it as an unsuccessful day. I look at it as a successful day. Um, we figured out that it can do a burnout. We found some issues that we need to fix. We had another burnout competition next weekend, so we gotta get it fixed up, ready to go. Next week's gonna be a busy week. And uh, the weekend after that, I have drill. And the weekend after that, it's gonna be a huge burnout show, which is different. I'm gonna do as many burnouts as I can in a whole weekend, which is the best opportunity to tune it, figure everything out, and get it ready for Freedom Factory, Cletus and Cars, if I'm able to make it, we'll see. But uh, y'all, thanks for watching. Y'all mean the world to me. And uh, bye!